Hi again, uh, here we are to talk about Xcode, and I've, I've returned to the weather app for a little while. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a feature where instead of you typing in the city name, the weather app will use your current location to find the weather. I'm going to leave the city name in there also so you can, you can choose one or the other. You can type in the name or you could say use my location. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to realize that you know, finding someone's location, you know, is kind of a personal thing. Like, maybe they don't want you to know your location, right? Um, no, or know their location, right? So, we have to ask them for permission. And the way that iOS handles that is through the info P list, right? So, what I'm going to do is, this is, my, this is my sample app that's finished, and then I have the other app that's not finished, right? So, we'll add this feature. I've already added it here, and we'll add it to the, you know, to the not finished app in a in a moment, but uh, let me show you how it works. So, if I, you know, if I test my app here in the simulator, it's going to ask me. It's going to give me a message here. It's going to say, um, you know, uh, allow weather app number two to access your location even when you're not using the app, right? And then it says a message here. You know, app would like to use your location for the weather, right? And this is the message here. You can see it in the info p list. And there's a there's a key value here, and this this value ns location always use description is the value for you know asking people permission to use the app, you know, at, or use your location at any time. Okay, and this is this value that you type here is the lower part of this message. Okay, so I'm going to allow this. Now, another thing that we're going to note here is that. Um, I'm using the, the, the simulator. So how does the simulator figure out your location? Well, the simulator um, has a little system up here under the debug menu that says location, right? And what it does is it simulates your location. And you, you, know, you can choose a couple options here. You can choose a custom location, you can choose Apple, and then there, if you want the location to move, you can have it move like as if you're riding a bicycle or running or driving on the freeway. And any of these options here all start from the Apple headquarters and then travel from there, okay? So um, you can see, I'm, I'm gonna leave it on this setting here. And if I click here to get the weather, um, what I've done is I've added a third button here. So I've got my, you know, my okay and my cancel button. Maybe I should rearrange those, right? But you could type in the city name and click okay, or you can tap on use location and it will go out, get your GPS location, and then you can see um, it says Cupertino because, you know, it's using the debug option here, and it's really, it's, it's giving me the location of Apple. So it's, it's 47 degrees in, at, at the Apple headquarters or near the Apple headquarters in Cupertino, and the humidity is 100%, and the wind is one mile per hour, right? So, and the sky is clear, right? So anyway, so that's, that's the weather over there. Um, and again, you can choose a custom location if you want, um, and then it would give you the weather for that location. So anyway, that's how we're going to get started here. So, so um, what we need to do, or that, that's exactly how that, that works, right? So what we need to do is we need to get this, um, this, this thing here that says use um, NS location when, what is it, NS, NS location when in use usage description, okay? I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to switch to my other app here. So this is the one that's sort of in progress, right? Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your info P list. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type it here, okay, as a comment so you can read that, okay. And uh, make sure you get the case correct. So it should be NS location use in usage or when in use usage description right so it's essentially it's camel case so it's ns and then uppercase l w i u right okay so so get that and uh, maybe i'll post that somewhere maybe i'll post it in the comments even right so you're going to you're going to get this right and then you're going to go to your info p list and we're going to add that to the info p list and so you can really put it anywhere. If we go to the last row here and click the plus button, 
it'll add a new item. So there's a tiny plus button there if you hover over any of these items. And if you just click on it, it'll add a new item. And then it'll say application category. So I'm going to paste that value here. And we want to make sure that the little item next to it here says string. And then if you go over here and you double click, you can, you know, type in a message. So I'll say, you know, um, weather app wants to use your location, okay? And if you want to use the location all the time, you can use the other value too. So uh, I'm going to get that one. That's this one. Location always usage description. Okay, so I'll copy that one. I'll go back to my other app here. And I'll put this up here also so you can get it right so it's going to be this ns location always usage description okay so get that go back to the info p list click the little tiny plus button there it should make a new row paste the value and then give this this uh make sure this is string and then give this another description right so i'll say you know weather app um, wants to use your location, you know, and you could say to find the weather or, you know, whatever you want to do there. Talk to your, your copyright people and have, it, or, and have them write you some good copy for this, right? So, um, so anyway, so there you go. So that should get your app to use the weather. Without this, your app won't use the weather, okay? Well, or I mean the location. It won't let you get the location at all. It'll just, and it, nothing, it won't give you any errors or anything. It just won't be able to use the location, okay? And so also when you, um, when you use this, it'll ask the user if it's okay to use your location. So it'll okay with them, right? And they'll have to allow. And if you say don't allow, then it won't be able to use the location. And um, if you um, are running the app, let me go back to my other app here, right? So this is the app we were using previously. And you'll notice the second time I run it, it doesn't ask me to use the location because it, it already asked and I okayed it. Um, if you quit the app, I'll go back to the simulator here. This is the app here. If you delete it, so I'm going to press on it just like you would on the phone and hold like hold down and then it'll show me this thing and allow me to delete, you know, it'll kind of everybody will be shaking and then it'll show me the little X button there. And if I click that to delete the app, then if I uh, test the app again, when it launches this time, it'll ask me again to use the, um, if, I, if I want to allow it to use the location. So if you tap don't allow for some reason, you'll have to delete the app to allow it to use the location again, right? So anyway, so that should get you started on this. And then we'll talk about the code end of it um, in the next video, okay?